Hello everyone. Uh, temporal contextual recommendation in real time was announced as the best paper in the applied data science track in SIGKDD 2020, uh, which was held in August last year. My name is Hongin Lee, and in this video presentation, we will walk through the key components of this research paper, which was written by uh, several researchers in AWS AI Labs. It was accepted in applied data science track um, that address real world problems that is already or could be possibly deployed in near future. Uh, um, and the recommender model introduced in this work is named the HRNN Meta and uh, it achieved a state of art uh, performance on various data sets and is currently available in AWS uh, personalized service. Um, the contents of this paper is, uh, starts with the terminology uh, and uh, the research goals relate works uh, covers uh, uh, methods, experiments and conclusions. For the terminology uh, a, a recommendation system delivers a personalized experience based on the customer's uh, preferences. So it's, uh, for example, it's like uh, specific product recommendations uh, like YouTube or customized uh, uh, direct marketing or the content for emails or re-ranking all of the search results. Uh, it is often costly, so the large companies like AWS offers a black box recommendation system. Um, uh, it is not for end users, it's actually for developers to add individualized recommendation service in their application. No heavy engineering is required, so uh, any developers can easily use uh, one. Uh, the real-time personalization in a uh, recommendation system uh, improves its uh, recommendation in real-time um, uh, by uh, leveraging uh, the captured live events feeds from user users' uh, current session. So it uses like click histories or browsing histories or like uh, device information, whether user is on mobile or desktop. And they blend this uh, data with existing data to improve its uh, uh, predictions. The research goals of this work, uh, the research questions uh, that I think started this work is to, is that uh, two, um, one is how to efficiently train a recommender systems with uh, many items, and how to copy the, the um, uh, how how to copy uh, the recommender uh, re uh, building recommender systems with items that is changing in its popularities. So the research goals uh, are written uh, into five series of uh, lines. Um, uh, this works. Uh, this work proposes a black box recommender system that adapts to uh, adapts in real time and learn from uh, long user histories. Uh, uh, so avoid. Uh, uh, so it has to like overcome long term dependency problem of RNNs, and. It has to address the cold start scenario uh, problems. Uh, uh, that means that the prior interaction histories are non-existing, and it has to be scale uh, scalable, and it has to uh, debias some uh, item trends, item popularity trends, uh, to in order to faithfully uh, predict the future. <laughs> the solution uh, uh, that this work is presenting is named as HRNN Meta model that leverages pre-introduced uh, HRNN model, uh, also leveraging metadata info. 
and it also proposed the importance of sampling IS and uh, item trend corrections ITC uh, as uh, additional solutions to uh, address the problem. The solutions uh, I think is explicitly designed to adapt to a diverse set of scenarios such as the real-time cold start when users you know accidentally click on ad or don't click any ads because it was just a random visit on a web page or like uh, when when the date set uh, the uh, for the recommendation is like continually updated and the, for the evaluation of these solutions they test uh, on real world data sets and they do uh, numerous uh, synthetic experiments on uh, to prove uh, their effectiveness in um, in uh, the research goals and uh, they de they already actually deployed in production at scale so I think it is quite uh, evaluated uh, thoroughly um, uh, the related work uh, I will start with introducing the collabor uh, collaborative filtering uh, most recommendation uh, system is based on the user and item interaction. When there is a user, there could be a uh, lot of items that is interacted with, uh, by, interacted by user. Uh, by, uh, by this, I mean they click or do something about that item. Uh, they say good or bad or something like that. And there are two methods, contents-based filtering and collaborative filtering. But uh, what they, uh, well, you know, they have, uh, they have this in common that um, they use these patterns in uh, the user item interaction matrix and, the, and then they decompose the matrix into uh, into some in, in, into uh, some way of uh, utilizing that info uh, but I think the remedy is that their remedy is that they are not in real time because they cannot be responsive to life changes because they have this single giant matrix that is representing the uh, the, uh, the whole general information of course, there could be other methods, but uh, the it is written like that, uh, like this in the paper. And uh, to address the real-time problem in um, in recommendation system, HRNN was introduced. I think it was around about uh, fifteen years, uh, twenty fifteen. Um, it's basically a hierarchical RNNs that are proposed to uh, model user sessions in real time. Um, it used two levels of GRUs uh, to learn session level and user level representations. So uh, let's say there is a user here and the user might click the link to this watch web page or for, or for shopping or something and uh, he may choose another and another again uh, but then he takes a break and he starts another session of uh, internet browsing for or uh, eye shopping for uh, women's shoes um, uh, then the fine uh, the uh, at an arbitrary time the recommendation has to uh, recommend something but it has to be grounded on the last session, not the prior one, uh, the the uh, the, uh, the prior one. Uh, so in order to do that, HRNN keeps two levels of GRUs, uh, one that goes uh, straight, uh, uh, um, uh, like globally for that specific user. And uh, uh, another level is the session level GRUs. Uh, they are initialized at the start of the, the session and they are terminated at, at the end of the session. 
and they just uh, are used to update the usual level GRUs that is globally updated. The architecture of HRNN is uh, first start, uh, 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 it's in initialized uh, with the Shetson Nobel uh, representation initialization. It has to somehow get the input data at time step, at each time step, and it has to encode uh, in a recurrent neural network way and and when the session ends it has to update uh, the usual level uh, GRUs and uh, using this updated uh, usual level representation uh, when the when the break is over and another session is uh, uh, initialized uh, the session level has to uh, also be initialized uh, session level uh, GRUs I mean has to uh, be initialized uh, by the user level representation or uh, we could do it like this uh, that um, using this uh, global representation uh, we could uh, edit uh, we could uh, you know um, inject uh, inject it to each and every step of this uh, time step of this uh, session level uh, representation. And in order to train these RNNs, uh, typically uh, back propagation through time is used for uh, each session level and user level uh, GRUs. And uh, when using these mini batches of multiple users, uh, all users, all user events has to be uh, back, back propagated uh, concurrently. HRNN for a uh, recommendation system is not different from the HGRUs that I talked. Uh, it's just a uh, general term and uh, when he formulated the input data uh, format uh, uh, given a user history as a uh, denoted as X I, uh, each um, each interaction uh, each interacted items is uh, written in the attributes and its associated value. Uh, the attributes is uh, written in one odd embedding. Um, is, this is typically like uh, the name of an attribute. Let's say uh, click or uh, or like uh, or device info or something like that. And the value uh, may var varies uh, according to uh, this attribute's name. And uh, uh, the recommendation system use uh, this uh, RNN output uh, that represent uh, the recommendation scores uh, converted into the prob probability uh, by using softmax. And uh, for given item, um, all the probability, uh, I, the probability for the model to output the item as the recommended item for that given specific time can be written as this. And the HRN meta is presented in this work. This is the overview. It looks quite confusing, but it's not actually. Um, it uses HRNN, um, uh, it's like baseline. Uh, that improves real time uh, problem uh, and uh, it has time delta controls, feedback encoding, and item features decoding, and FFM that solves scalability um, uh, and cold start and contextualization. I'll introduce the, uh, each key components. The time delta controls. Uh, 
it uh, encodes uh, time information. Uh, you could just